Churches have been upgraded against a man who pulled a gun and shouted racial slurs at protesters who were blocking the Brickell Avenue Bridge on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And tonight we're getting reaction to those protesters, from those protesters rather. CBS 4's David Sutta is live in Miami with more. David. Yeah, we just spoke to one of the teenagers that was involved in this confrontation. He is pleased with what the state attorney's actions were today. However, he does feel more needs to be done. He's seen on the cell phone video walking with a gun in his hand, and he's heard hurling racial slurs at three teens involved in a Martin Luther King Day protest against public housing redevelopment. Now charges against Mark Bartlett are upgraded under the state's hate crime enhancement. Actions matter, words matter, and the crime matters. The law matters. Miami-Dade State Attorney is charging Bartlett with three counts of aggravated assault with prejudice after his actions caught on camera upset many. The enhancement comes by his words, with, coupled with the action. The teens were involved in a bikes up, guns down protest. Bartlett alleges they had shut down the road and were harassing people. He's maintained he was defending himself from a threat. Randall says that's not the case. We just stick with the law and we stick with the evidence. And that's what it is in this case. Um, I'm sure the defense attorneys will do their best to find uh, criticisms and cracks in the case. But right now, we believe that we're doing the right thing. This evening, one of the teenagers who was present at the encounter told us he's thankful for the state attorney's action. Still, he doesn't feel safe. I think it's good, but I feel more better if like, the kid be on house arrest. <laughs> because like, I, I, I feel like more safer like walking around, riding my bike and everything. Bartlett's attorney says prosecutors should be looking at the actions of the teenagers. In a statement released today, they said, quote, we are disappointed the state attorney has to come to the political pressure rather than obeying the tenets of the law. It's a shame the state attorney's platform for lawfulness has now turned into one of endorsing lawlessness. This charging decision is a disgraceful miscarriage of justice, and we intend to remedy it by vindicating our clients in court of law, not in the court of public opinion. I hope that this share awareness that this is not cool to do. Racist against um, African American kids, from Spanish kids, kids from all different ethnic backgrounds is not tolerated in Miami or in the United States of America. So what's next? Well, Bartlett has an arraignment hearing tomorrow morning. The kids are telling us they plan on attending it. In Liberty City, David said a CBS 4 News.